Hello friends, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic Organizational Knowledge Repositories. <coughs> friend, today's topic is very important and uh, if you are studying project management or you are planning to give exam of uh, PMP. So friend, uh, this topic has been taken from the PMBOK guide, Project Management Body of Knowledge. And with reference to exam point of view, if you are a student, so um, with reference to exam point of view this is a very important topic and you will see this topic in the exam at least two to three questions will be there in the exam which are related to this topic <coughs> secondly friend if you are a professional project manager in working and working in any organization as a project manager so again this is necessary this is important for you to understand the concept of organizational knowledge repository that what is what it is and how to use it in the professional and practical life of project management <coughs> so very let's uh, start first of all i would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's uh, start organizational knowledge repositories if you just see these three terms organizational means something which is related to organization or something which is which comes under the ownership of organization second point is knowledge knowledge mean uh, any asset documents source codes hardware software so anything which comes under the uh, ownership of organization which can be any document any source code any software hardware document and repository what is repository friend repository means friend some location to store uh, the documents repository basically it's a word which we use as a location some location where we store all those things okay like documents like for example if we say a uh, repository is a place where we store the data and it can be accessible later so friend when we are talking about organizational knowledge repositories we are basically referring to some location where we store all the documents related to uh, organization which can be project plans scope documents like uh, uh, the uh, issue register, risk register, communication plans, software, hardware. So think of uh, organizational knowledge repository as a location where we are storing the knowledge. <coughs> knowledge means basically we are referring to documents, basically referring to anything which is the ownership or which comes under the on organization's ownership and <coughs> which is uh, which is a asset for an organization for example like project plans which we are making for uh, for a project so it is a very important document so we store it somewhere uh, we store it uh, like for example just take an example like uh, share uh, sharepoint server normally used we so sharepoint is an example of organizational knowledge repository why because we are storing <coughs> Uh, for example we are storing scope documents project plans the estimates for cost and efforts uh, we are storing there so at some point if any person needs uh, those documents uh, those information so he just go there uh, he just logged in into the SharePoint server and he can access all the necessary information uh, for for the projects so it is very helpful for him to uh, 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 to organize the data and to access the data so based on the uh, accessibility of data it will become very easier for a person to access the data and to utilize the data <coughs> okay so our uh, similarly friend this is also an important point that the, this is not necessary that you have to have to use the SharePoint for the uh, knowledge repository we can also use some uh, shared location normally in organization it's a very common practice 
that uh, like uh, the network persons uh, use shared a drive and uh, all the uh, necessary uh, softwares would be available on the uh, on the on some shared location if any person needs to access uh, needs to install any software he just go there on the shared location of uh, network and he just download and he just access the software documents uh, any particular information from there so basically uh, organizational knowledge repository means some shared location uh, shared location means it can also be uh, like that uh, if you just make a location a physical location in an organization like uh, normally if you jo uh, if you just go there in a government sector uh, so they have a room in their offices where all the files physical files uh, printed files are available if you just if you need some information you just go there and by the sequence you can access those files from there so this is another example of <coughs> the accessibility of data so basically concept is that our organizational knowledge repository means that some shared location where all the necessary information all the assets of information uh, which comes under the organizational assets are shared or available there the uh, asset example is that for example the scope documents which we are making for our projects the project plans uh, the risk register the issue log the communication plan and the estimates for cost and time schedule budgets so these documents friends are very important for us and uh, remember friend one thing the organizational repositories are also very important when we are making when we are going to initiate the new projects because when we are going to initiate the new projects we need the historical information historical information like means that in the past for example the e-commerce solution was completed in three months and uh, the project plans and cost estimates were for example ABC uh, documents were made so now based on the historical information historical documents we can make the new documents if we have the accessibility uh, for those documents so this is very important this is very necessary that to make the organizational repository like some shared location it can be SharePoint server it can be uh, it can be any shared location on the network it can be a physical location as well so uh, if we have uh, those document uh, if we have the accessibility if we have those repository so it will be very easier for us to access the information uh, organ uh, to organize the information uh, and to based on that historical information we can utilize it there those information in the new projects so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time